friends, family, lovers, and cousins. Good morning. I just washed this shirt and I don't know what this is. Look, some of y'all may or may not know, it's definitely giving. I'm not shopping for a thing right now. I'm just putting on whatever to get me out the house where I'm clothed and I won't be pulled over, pulled over for indecent exposure. Because me shopping for anything with this, whose body is this? And then y'all see this? I miss, I miss the people that don't want. Whoo! The point is, today, I don't care what happens. I got a list of things on this wall right now that needed to be done on Sunday and it's not done yet. So what that means to me is that come hell or high water and as Papa Pope said, I am the hell and the high water, things is going to get done in this house. You feel me? It's going to be so clean in here. It smell like pine saw. I'm not playing these games with these people today. It's me against them. I said I didn't want to be a soldier. I am a soldier. It's too late. I chose this life. I chose to be a, uh, to be a woman with a man with babies and a dog and live in a house and be a homeowner. I chose this, okay? So I am a soldier at war, and it is what it is. And after I'm done soldiering, maybe I could be soft. But right now, it's time to be real hard and on top of these things, because I'm not playing with these people today, and they're not playing with me. It's me against them, and I'm about to win. First stop, Coco needs a bath, and I'm not gonna do it. I'm about to drop her off at the groomers. So I'm about to go ahead, say good morning to my team. Hey, hey, woo, woo, woo. And it's my last day before maternity leave. Ooh, they about to hate me. They about, ooh, they about to hope this baby come tonight. Because I'm going to be on everybody ass like white on rice. Y'all not going to kill me in this house. Y'all not going to dutty up this home and look at me like, you know, it's not so bad. Ibad. Have a good day, baby. Is it just me? Or when you see somebody pull up to the same location as you, you start walking faster so you can get in front of them online? I know that's immature and childish, but I can't help it. Because I'll be damned. Coco, do I smell pee or did somebody else puppy pee? Coco. No. Coco would never. So, as you can see, Coco is down bad. She needs to be groomed. She don't even know which way is up, front, left, or right. Hair all through her eyes. I can't believe somebody doggy just peed out there, like right on the rug. Relate to so let's make sure they still gonna take her. Coco has made it to her appointment. I'm excited to see her look great again. Um, and now I'm about to go ahead and get me some Starbucks. I just had a moment in grace. Okay, amen. Somebody maybe definitely peed right there, and it's nuts. But anyway, the grooming lady, never. She never says good morning. I don't know if it's a culture thing, but one thing about my culture, what's the morning? Okay? Evening. Morning, evening, morning, evening. Hello. And I really feel Sheree when she was like, what happened to hello? How are you? What happened to it? Where did it go? When did we stop using it? When did somebody say, oh, actually, we don't need this one anymore. Y'all can get rid of it. When did we lose? So, mm. But she's such a sweet lady. She just don't have no manners in class. Let me go ahead and give me my Starbucks and get back home so I can get back to work. Y'all, I just spent $20 at Starbucks. And lately, I really don't go to Starbucks as much. But um, it really just dawned to me, especially as I'm in my, like, really, excuse me, financially free bag, like, really trying to get these coins together, really trying to make different kind of moves, invest my money wisely. I spent $20 on a slice of bread and a couple sips of juice. 
because Starbucks got this drink called Summer Skies, which is like fake boba tea, which is nowhere near as much as what you would get if you actually went to a boba tea spot for more of the price for less of the boba. And I'm just like, you spent $20. $20. On what? I, I feel a little pissed off. And I got to make different decisions. Because that means that if I go to Starbucks every day for the weekday just to start my morning, you know. Best part of waking up is Starbucks in your cup holder. I'm spending like $100. Yeah. So, something going to need to change. Now, to be fair, I did get my man Starbucks, too. Baby, I'm so sorry, but they discontinued cane sugar. The cane sugar. What? Yeah. Why they do that? That's what they say. Ah, yo, stop. That sounds crazy. They gotta have cane sugar. They discontinued it, so they... They didn't discontinue that. You're crazy. <laughs> You're mad. That was what I'm being... No, they didn't. <laughs> You play too much. Oh, look, I'm dead serious. So they replaced this one. They said they had an alternative. <laughs> they had an alternative. Like, why what? are you act? I don't know what the alternative was. But why are you acting like things can't be discontinued? Nah, it's not. Do it taste the same? It's the same. Okay, then. So they, but what that's they what use? they... They... You know, what do you think, like... You think I'm just out here just coming up with practical jokes? You really think if I was going to yeah. come up with a practical so joke, this would be it? Hey, guys. This is Coco. She looks very cute and clean. So, we're going to go home. Probably make it a little better. Later, I'm on the phone with my mom. And I'm going back home to clean up that lounge. So, let's get this done. After all of that cleaning, I still have to go through the girls' room. So it's crazy in here. We have really haven't done much because little mama sleeps with us. So she's barely ever in this room. But we are trying to set it up as a nursery right now. And so I'm going to be painting in here. So I have to go through all of the toys and stuff like that. Clean up. Just get things nice and ready and compartmentalized. Also, I have a bunch of clothes that I've separated from when she was younger, a bunch of things that she hasn't even worn that I need to go ahead and do laundry for. So I did go ahead and just, you know, organize that as well. Taking some things off of the wall. I had my outlet in here for the times when she does sleep in here. Um, and I'm gonna have to like reposition that as well. Prep the walls, um, sand down, get everything taped up and ready. And hopefully soon I'll be able to show you the finished product. Now we went ahead and ate because that was all I had the energy left to do. So there you go. I lied. It was all a lie. It was not the hell or the hot water. I was just the fish underneath it all. Yes, I was able to clean my lounge. I'm very happy about that. Um, I was able to conquer some more laundry. Laundry is just never ending. I am not okay right now. I'm so nauseous. 
I am in so much pain. And I don't know if these are contractions. My doctor just called me. They want me to come in because one of their labs didn't get submitted. And I got to take another test again. And all I can think about is that my baby's room not painted. I can't find my rollers, so I need to go to Home Depot and get more rollers. Um, I am, <laughs> I am just like, I really need help right now today, and this is one of the days where like, not living close to family really sucks. Like, I really need my mom. Everybody just got their own stuff going on, so. I'm just trudging through, man. All right, y'all. We out the house. I washed my hair. I laid my hair. I was trying to make it a little less obvious, but, you know, it's showing. And that's my business. I really don't care. Um, We're going to the doctors right now. I feel like I'm about to have a damn heart attack, all the things that I was doing in the past couple of minutes. Um... So we're going to the doctor. I told y'all they said that they had some lab that they that didn't go through. So now they got to redo it. Then they're going to do my doctor's appointment the same day, which is great. Because I've been having pain all day. And I was just telling Ola, I'm like, this pregnancy about to be a, this delivery about to be a breeze. Because this girl has been giving me cramps and Braxton Hicks and Hiccup and all kinds. Of, like, when I tell you I've been in pain, period. Like, every morning I wake up. It feel like I'm waking up with five bowling balls on my lap that I have to get up with. I be hearing my bones cracking when I get out the bed. And then after about 20 minutes or so, I'm all right. But today, when I tell you that pain did not stop, baby, standing up is like really starting to hurt my legs for real. Like I need to sit down every second I can. Like this baby how much you weigh is what i'm trying to figure out and i know that's your business but that if i had to ask my baby one question it would be like am i really eating that good because you 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 know what i'm saying you are a sizable amount so they're gonna do my little cervix test as well to see if my cervix has dilated and then after that i'm heading over to um i'm gonna go ahead and head over to UPS store and H HBO child. Home Depot. <laughs> Real quick though, right? So a lot of people be feeling like the way that you like, and I, a big question that I've even had, right? So I've been doing a lot of research on it, and plus I've had two babies before. A lot of people feel like the way that you know the baby is on the way is that your water breaks, and that's not true. There's so many other things that happen along your journey that will give you signs that you're close to labor. And the thing about it is it's gonna be different for everybody. It's not the same for everyone. Now for me personally, um, all, both of my pregnancies, well now all three of my pregnancies have been very, very different. My first pregnancy, I was so hungry. I was so hungry, but I was so tired. Like I just felt like uh, days I felt out of it. And I just remember we just kept eating ordering food like we just kept me and my best friend and her sister we just kept ordering food eating and that was it and I want to say that lasted for about 12 to 12 hours before I was finally like asking my mom like how do I know I'm in labor and she was like how do you feel and I'm like well I'm getting these little pains every now and then but um I don't know like is my water supposed to break? Is my this? Is my that? And she was like, well, how close apart are the pains? And I'm like, I don't know, like, every 15 minutes or so, like, I get, like, these, like, really tight cramps that kind of hurt. And she's like, yeah, you're probably in labor. You want me to drop you up at, off at the hospital? June. Got to the hospital, and they were like, yes, you are in labor, but the baby's still not fully, like, you're not dilated. So what we can do is induce labor. Like you're having contractions is what they said. They're like you're having contractions, but you're not fully like there yet. Like so their solution was like if you want to go ahead and um induce labor, you can. So we ended up doing that. He was past his due date also. He thought he was just about staying there all day, yeah. So we induced labor and then the next day 
I got to the hospital probably at like midnight or something like that or like 11 whatever I had that baby to the next day at like 8 in the morning child my daughter however I was you know getting contractions having pain went to the doctor they said you're not dilated baby's not ready to come out yet and I want to say we were right at her due date and so I went back home went home took a walk um did some stretches and stuff like that did you know lived my life and um later on that night my man went to go play pool with his friends and he asked me he's like babe you sure I because pool hall is right up the block he's like you sure I could go like do you want me to blah blah I'm like nah go ahead let me lie I'm straight so maybe an hour or two after he left I start feeling like yo I don't know what's going on in my body but something going on in my body she was super active and so I called my man like you gotta you need to run your ass home when he got there I took a shower I called my doctor I said I would head over there my doctor said okay cool about and I was cool on the way to the hospital so I'm like you know it's probably just a little bit of cramping they said she's not ready so I'm not tripping and even when we got to the hospital, they're like, do you need a wheelchair? And I'm like, mm, no, I'm good. But my man is like, no, she needs a wheelchair. Gives me a wheelchair. And then the intense pain start happening, like to the point where I'm like, oh, f oh, oh. It's also important to note that my first pregnancy, I had an epidural. So I wasn't feeling, I was feeling the pains to a certain extent. I wasn't a lot of pain, but once they went ahead and stuck that needle in me, I was like, oh, he here. But I had, I went cold turkey with this girl, chat. And when I tell you, baby, I was like, what is this that my body is doing? Get, get this out, get it done, get it done this time around i'm paying attention to different things but a couple things that will let you know that you are probably about to deliver soon is that you feel a lot of pressure in your pelvis area your back may start to hurt you may get nauseous you may be hungry you may lose appetite you may poop a lot um ugh. you may feel a lot of period like cramps one thing that lets you know that you're super duper close is when you start to feel a series of cramps like cramps that keep coming like in intervals like every 10 minutes every 15 minutes every 20 like a pattern overall just trust yourself your body just knows your body is gonna know when it's time to get this show on the road your body was made for this so you will be surprised through your delivery labor all of that even after having the baby there's so many things that your body is going to be telling you about what you need in that moment and it's going to be very important for you to shut the noise down make sure that you don't have anybody in your life or your circle or around you that creates noise for you this is not about them this is not about anybody but you baby girl this is a life or death situation so many mothers and I don't have the statistics in front of me but this childbirth thing is not easy and it never has been you can lose your life during or after so anybody that's really creating noise for you get them get them away from you get 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 back I don't care if it's your mama I don't care if it's the baby's daddy I don't care who it is if somebody is creating noise that doesn't allow you to have the peace that you need to be able to hear your body so that you know what your body and your baby needs get them from around you because your body is about to lead you and let you know everything that it needs for you and for the baby all right y'all I'm here at the doctor so you know they're gonna do their little fingering little thing that they like to do up my thing to thing and then I'm gonna let y'all know what it is. I'm gonna let y'all know if I'm having this baby because <laughs> it's beginning to feel a lot like labor. Wish me luck.